In this video, we are going to look at the mechanisms of how manual therapy works. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome to PhysioTutors. When we refer to manual therapy, we usually mean mobilizations and manipulations of the spine and or extremities. But manual therapy exists in a variety of forms and can be targeted at joints, muscles and soft tissues, as in massage or ISTM, or the neurovascular system. Early theories on the effectiveness of those techniques in modulating a patient's pain experience were based on the identification and subsequent correction of biomechanical dysfunctions. We have probably read or heard about spinal alignments, subluxations, faulty positions or breaking up of supposed adhesions or scar tissue. However, by today's understanding, these theories are quite antiquated. Manual therapy does not break up adhesions. It does not put a vertebrae back into place or causes other mechanical changes of that sort in the tissues it's targeting. So, the question remains, why patients experience changes in pain intensity, improvements in range of motion, due to less stiffness or tightness, and general improvement in function. Bialowski et al. from 2009 and 2017 proposed several theories on how manual therapy actually manages to achieve such results. Their comprehensive model of five mechanisms suggests that a mechanical input by means of manual therapy results in a multitude of neurophysiological effects, which we will briefly discuss in this video. Biomechanical effects of manual therapy have been reported, but these are only transient and lasting structural changes could not be identified. Furthermore, clinicians are not able to reliably determine the specific area that would require manual therapy. And third, the application is not precise but rather widespread, which supports the notion that additional mechanisms have to be at play. Hypoalgesic responses increased sympathetic nervous system activity and a lessening in temporal summation have been measured following the application of manual therapy. This mechanism is assumed to be mediated by the periaqueductal gray, which is an area in our brain that plays a critical role in autonomic function, motivated behavior and behavioral responses to threatening stimuli as well as changes in the spinal dorsal horn. We know that musculoskeletal injuries result in an inflammatory response and the expression of inflammatory mediators such as blood and serum level cytokines. Studies examining the effects of joint biased manual therapy found that those were reduced following the application of the techniques. Furthermore, they observed changes in blood levels of among others beta endorphin, serotonin and endogenous cannabinoids. Studies examining the spinal mechanism rely predominantly on the gate control theory where a strong enough ascending stimulus can inhibit nociceptive signals in the spinothalamic tract. Essentially, the stimulation of proprioceptors leads to inhibition at the dorsal horn and associated neuromuscular responses such as hypoalgesia, efferent discharge and changes in muscle activity occur. Bialowski and colleagues list other variables such as the placebo effect, expectations of the patients and psychosocial factors that are possibly relevant in explaining the effects of manual therapy. These supraspinal mechanisms were found to be associated with supraspinal descending inhibition, changes in the opioid system and dopamine production. So what was the purpose of this video? We want to present a comprehensive model trying to explain the multiple ways how manual therapy may work. By no means do we say that the mechanisms mentioned in this video are all of the ways in which manual therapy may aid in helping patients and their pain experience. If there's one takeaway from this video, you should realize that manual therapy is a potent influencer of the nervous system, while the biomechanical aspects surrounding it are inaccurate and of lesser relevance. Alright, definitely check out the full reference list for today's video in the description down below. If you like this video and want to see more of this, you can support our channel by clicking the like button, by leaving a comment down below and by subscribing to our channel. 
you can check out another video on the left. And as always, this was Andreas for Physio Tutors. I'll see you in another video. Bye.